Hey guys, let's evaluate this indefinite integral. It's the integral of 5x over x plus 5 to the fifth dx. In order to solve this, let's do u substitution. I'm going to say u equal to x plus 5. And so du will be equal to the derivative of x, which is 1, and the derivative of 5, which is 0. And then all of this gets multiplied by dx. So ultimately, we have du is equal to dx. So now we have substitutions for the x plus 5 and the dx, but we haven't accounted for this last x yet. But that's fine. We can do this. Let's scoot this stuff over here and get rid of all of our circles. And then looking at this equation right here, if we subtract 5 from both sides, we have u minus 5 equals x. And now we have substitutions for all of our x's. Let's copy this down here. Let's bring this constant 5 multiple to the front. Substitute for the x plus 5 a u. Substitute for the x a u minus 5. And the dx will become du. And we can smush everything together. Now I want to split this into two separate fractions. So let's copy all this down. This will be u over u to the fifth minus 5 over u to the fifth. So let's copy this down again. u to the 1 minus 5 is u to the negative 4. And then we're going to subtract 5 u to the negative 5. Now when we take the antiderivative, we're going to do u to the negative 4 plus 1, which gives us negative 3, and then we're going to divide that by negative 3. And then we're going to subtract this, and we're going to add 1 to the negative 5, which gives us negative 4, and then we're going to divide by that negative 4. And then since it is an indefinite integral, we can't forget the plus c. And now we can clean things up a little bit. We can rewrite this as negative 1 over 3u cubed, and we can rewrite this as plus 5 over 4u to the fourth. And we can't forget the plus c. Next, we can distribute the 5 to both of these, which will give us a 5 and a 20. And now let's switch the order of these. I'll put this 25 over 4u to the fourth in front. And now we just need to bring x back. Since u is equal to x plus 5, in the place of each of these u's, we're going to plug in x plus 5. And this is the answer to the question. This is our indefinite integral evaluated. How exciting.